Cancer. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot. This is going to be a weekly love reading for you for October 24th through the 31st. October 24th through the 31st. I hope it will be a blessing to you. I'm using the Finesta Tarot, which is the deck that I bought for um, the milestone of 2,500 subscribers. There's been over 150,000 views of the videos and over 14,700 hours watched. I truly appreciate all of you and I appreciate the fact that um, you've been very understanding that Mondays and Tuesdays are kind of hard for me to get readings out. I am offering, as a result of that milestone too, I'm offering 15 minute one question readings um, on my website, empressmoontarot.com between now and Monday midnight. So if you need a quick answer on something, um, you know, do, do stop up there and order a reading. I do have 30 minute, 45 minute, and 60 minute, minute readings available up there as well, so just so you know that. Okay, Cancer, 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 Spirit, what's going on with Cancer's love life, love and relationships for Cancer? We have Temperance, Temperance, and then a mess of my shuffling. Shuff Shuffling. Okay, we have Four of Pentacles, we have Justice, Page of Cups. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that. The Ten of Cups, Cancer. <gasps> Lovely. Okay. Queen of Wands. Two of Cups. Seven of Swords, the Hierophant. Somebody else got the Hierophant, another water sign. And the Six of Wands. Now one for the overall energy, please, Spirit. One for overall energy. Okay, we've got two. We've got the Page of Swords and the Magician. So with the Magician, it tells me that either Cancer, you've been trying to manifest this in your life or you've been trying to take control back of your life. And it looks like there's been a need for communication as well. And so this is surrounding, it looks like that communication is definitely going to be coming in. With the Page of Swords, it's usually news that you've been waiting to hear. And I believe it's related to something you've been trying to manifest in your life through thoughts, actions. So we start out with the Temperance card. And temperance. Temperance is about, about patience and balance and calm, finding calm in your life, finding peace when there's storms all around. Now it looks like, so I'm, let me go ahead and tell you the rest of the cards first and then we'll look at it a little bit more in depth. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have Justice. Page of Cups, 
the Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, it's beautiful in this deck, the Seven of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Six of Wands. It looks like there's been a situation here with regards to a relationship. Clearly you've been waiting on some sort of information to come in, some sort of change with regards to communication. And it looks like you've been really afraid that you're going to lose this person. For some, I feel like you've been feeling like you're going to lose yourself in this, in this relationship. You're a little bit closed off, a little bit guarded. And there's been a need for balance in this relationship, which is probably, we've got two cards related to balance, justice and temperance. So there has not been an equal give and take here. One of you has been giving more than the other. Uh, one of you may have been communicating more than the other, which is why the Page of Swords is here. Now the Queen of Wands energy is very, very is very, very calm, friendly energy, um, very much, very captivating, warm, alluring. Now I, I see that this the energy of the Queen of Wands, this friendly energy and this social energy, is likely what's going to help you to kind of balance this situation out. Because it looks like you've got a lot of stuff going on in your life and that, that that's why you're in need of balance um, beyond just the relationship itself. And this social energy and this calm, friendly demeanor is going to help you to balance out that energy. Now the Two of Cups is very much, it's a very deep connection. It could be a soulmate connection as well. Uh, very divinely blessed. And when the Two of Cups is there, uh, you know that the with the Four of Pentacles over top of it, I feel as if you're afraid you're going to lose this person. It's almost like the connection is so deep that it's causing you to be fearful. And it's also causing you to hide your emotions. You're not letting your emotions show with somebody. Um, you feel like, you know, you have to be, you have to present yourself in a different way than what you're actually feeling because of that fear of loss. But I do see that communication is coming in. There's a sword here and a sword here that is going to provide you with some balance in this relationship. Um, you may have been jumping to conclusions because the Justice card tells you not to jump to conclusions. You may have been jumping to conclusions and through some communication, everything is cleared up for you. I think, I think strongly everything is going to be cleared up for you because I think that you are probably wondering where is this relationship going? How does this other person feel? And I see here that this other person, the Page of Cups, is, is the herald of the new opportunity in love, you know. Um, and I see that that communication is coming in for you with regards to the fact that, that somebody is, is considering entering into a, a higher level of commitment with you. And it's something that's going to bring you, bring you great happiness and peace and abundant love. It's going to feel like you finally have gotten victory in your love life. Let me see if there's anything else I'm seeing from here. You know, over, overall what I'm seeing is that there's a need for balance here, but as you near the end of the week, for those of you that are have met somebody that meets this kind of criteria, that super deep connection and uh, very soulmate-like relationship, you know, try to remain calm and balanced and not to jump to conclusions because it looks like that other person is seeing you as long-term potential. Let's 
see what else we can get for you from the Romance Angels deck. Cancer. Love and Relationships. October 24th through the 31st, please, Spirit. Okay. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It looks like you're going to be spending some time with this person. And, um, you know, you're being, you're being told to make the effort. You know, don't, don't stay so guarded. Don't stay so closed off. Make the effort with them. And, um, you know, it, it looks like... You've got something wonderful coming down the road, and it it looks like it can be quite beautiful. Like, look at this ten of cups. How cute is that? It's just stunning. So, Cancer, this is really beautiful. I hope that it was of help to someone. And if you need a more personalized reading, visit EmpressMontero.com. But please be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you again soon.